small ancient town of Lalibela is located about 650 kilometers north of the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. I'm with Bale, a local tour guide who is proud of the food and culture of his hometown. He's agreed to show me around and give me a crash course on Ethiopian food and their favorite pastime, having a cup of coffee. Like many cultures in the world, having some coffee in the coffee shop is a place where people get together and connect. Here in Ethiopia, the birthplace of the coffee plant, it's no different. Everybody comes here for at least two, three cups of coffee a day. Really? When you consider that over 20% of the Ethiopian population is connected to the coffee industry, you can really appreciate why it's so important to the culture here. Do it to Hulaguna. <laughs> So people are all having salt with their coffee? Indeed. Really? Very typical thing in um, our area is putting a little salt in the coffee, which has a nice flavor. OK, I'll try it. That's interesting. A little salt almost gives it a sweeter taste, if that makes sense. That's right. How do you say salt? Cho. Cho? Cho. I like my coffee with cho. <laughs> not, not cho. Chow, Not chow, chow but uh, <laughs> with chow, with a little, with a little bit of salt. <laughs> You're born, raised in Lalibala. That's right. What's been the biggest change? And the population has been increased, I would say, in the last 20 years, from six, 7,000 to 75,000 already. Wow. That's all because people move from the mountains for a better life, better school, will have the opportunity to work in the tourism sector. Right. With the influx of population, comes challenges for this small town, like the increased demand on the infrastructure and the logistics of land development. And where are all these men doing? They're having a meeting here. I mean, you can see a chairman sitting in the middle. Is he like the mayor? <laughs> Absolutely, I would say, not the mayor of, uh, of the town. And this is like social organizations, associations. Oh, really? We have religious events, funerals, meetings, discussions it among families. Here. It all happens here. Under this tree? Right under the tree. This tree is like very important for people in Lalibela and people who live in the mountains. So this is kind of like the town hall. 